Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm yours, Daniel Lorenzo. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag, flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Thursday, January 28th, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what happened today in history. Thank you, Yosdani. Today in history on January 28th, 1986, the U.S. Space Shuttle Challenger exploded just 73 seconds after takeoff. The Challenger exploded after blasting off Florida Kennedy Space Center, and all seven members were killed, including New Hampshire educator, Krista McCauley, who had been selected to fly via NASA's Teachers in Space program. A very sad news to our country and to the world, since we lost some of our heroes. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. 73 years ago, a sports competition was organized for injured World War II veterans in England. Over the years, other countries joined and various disability groups were included until the Paralympic Games was born. These games, which are the world's third largest competition, are held shortly after the Olympics and this year it is scheduled for August in Tokyo. Each host city improves and modifies facilities to accommodate the disabled attendees. This in turn helps these incredible athletes to be recognized for sporting excellence despite sometimes severe disabilities as they inspire and excite millions around the world. Now let's go to Noah for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is the thing we all love, pancakes and sausage, potato wedges, apple or cranberry juice, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to you, Stani. Thank you, Noah. Scholars, the January I Ready Challenge is ending tomorrow. This one is focused on math only. Pass 30 math lessons between January 4th and January 29th to take part in an awesome pizza party. Remember, only lessons passed between these dates will be counted. Let's get it done. Scholars, FSA Nights for Middle School is tonight. This year, FSA Nights will be virtual. Grade 6 through 8 will be today at 6.30 p.m. Make sure you remind your parents to be there virtually. A $100 gift card will be raffled to one of the participating families. And finally, scholars, tomorrow is We Wear Yellow. This week is National School Choice Week, where we celebrate and shine a spotlight on amazing schools such as ours. Tomorrow, we the Patriots will be showing love for our, for our school by wearing as much yellow as possible. So show your support by wearing yellow tomorrow. Now, let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thank you, Yost Donnie. Today's weather in Pebbeck Pines, Florida is forecast to be 75 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna play with my friends later. Now let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. What did one hat say to the other? You stay here. I'll go on ahead. Now let's go back to your time. Thank you, Samuel. That one was another hilarious one. And now, let's check with Sonia for today's birthdays. Thank you, Danny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Amber Rose, Cameron Gideon, Mariah Graham, and Justin Brady. Happy birthday. Let's get back to you, Danny. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, don't forget our past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Mr. Albitez, Miss Newton, Miss Stone, Miss Calabrese, Miss Kane, Miss Barrow, and Miss Silvera. You have the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, the barber of Pembroke Pines shaves the faces of all the men that live in Pembroke Pines. No man living in Pembroke Pines is allowed to shave himself. The barber of Pembroke Pines lives in Pembroke Pines, who shaved the face of the barber of Pembroke Pines. The correct answer to the riddle was, the barber is a woman. Now, for today's riddle, 
A mother gave birth to twin boys, but they were born in a diff in different years and on different days. How is that possible? A mother gave birth to twin boys, but they were born in different years and on different days. How is that possible? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance.gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone on RPTV would like to wish you all a thankful Thursday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day!